Welcome to another session on the Somatic Manager. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to use shift registers in the ladder logic. Shift registers are used to shift bits across the length of a register. In PLC programming, they are commonly used for various purposes. The most common being to track objects on an indexing conveyor. If you would like to learn more about the shift registers, you can check out the video link in the description box. Set up for the today's tutorial. We have an indexing conveyor which moves in steps. A box sensor is at I0.0 detects if the object is present at index 0. An indexing sensor at I0.1 detects every next position of the conveyor by identifying the edge of the chain. Now we want to track the boxes on the indexing conveyor at the positions from 0 to 7. First of all, we will assign the positions 0 to 7 to the bits in the memory byte MB10, specifically from M10.7 to 10.0. When an object arrives at index 0, we will inject this information into MB10 at M10.7. On every trigger of the indexing sensor I0.1, we will shift this information one bit to the right, effectively moving the box status down the chain. Now let's see the program in the ladder logic in the Somatic Manager software. In the network 2, we use the box sensor I0.0 to turn M10.7 bit on. If a box is present at index 0, the M10.7 will be set to 1. If no box is present, MB 10.7 bit will be 0. In network 1, we insert the shift bit right instruction. This instruction is triggered by the indexing sensor I0.1. Every time the sensor is triggered, it shifts all bits in MB 10 one step to the right. This way, the data is shifted across the bits of the MB 10. Keeping track of the box positions. Now let's download the program on the PLC and monitor the logic. As you can see that when a box is placed at the index 0, the box sensor I0.0 detects it and sets M10.7 bit to 1. As the conveyor moves forward, the index sensor I0.1 triggers the shift instruction and the status of the bit at M10.7 moves to the M10.6. This indicates that the box has moved to the index 1 and M10.6 now reflects this. If no box is added at index 0, the M10.7 bit stays low or 0. As the conveyor moves again, the index sensor is triggered. The shift register executes moving all bits in the MB10 one step right. Now the box appears at the index 2 indicated by bit M10.5. And the earlier positions show no boxes. Now, if we stop the conveyor and see the boxes at the chain, we can see that the current box positions are at index 1, index 2, index 4, and index 6. In that case, the falling bits in the MB10 would be high or 1. If we look at MB10 byte, these bits are M10.6, bit 10.5, bit 10.3, and bit 10.1. This indicates the presence of the boxes at those positions on the chain. So this is how we can use the shift registers to keep track of the products on the indexing conveyor. That's the end of the today's session. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.